Okay guys, so the first one of these techniques I want to show you is stamping. And what I have here is a cleaned up surface and uh, just a broken shard uh, that I found outside. And I'm just going to use this to repeatedly mark a surface here to create pattern or a new texture. I can hit it with different parts of the mark. I'm creating an organic texture that might mimic something that I might find in nature. Here I'm adding a little bit of water and then scoring a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. It's not like I'm attaching a form here, but I'm going to do a bunch of compressing to the clay that I add to this surface as well. So I'm going to just take this little coil Add that to the surface here to create another kind of relief. This is an additive technique because we're again we're adding clay. So to create the illusion of relief or layering, I've got my new piece of clay, this little spaghetti coil I just added. And now what I'm going to do is just compress it one direction and not the other to create an illusion of layering. And there is some minor layering going on, but I want to be careful not to add more than uh, one third of the clay's thickness to the surface. If you add too much clay to a surface, you're going to have a thickness problem. Remember, everything's got to be the same thickness. So this is one example of combining stamped texture with some applique to create a sense of relief, an additive relief technique. What I'm going to show you here is called relief carving. And you see I'm taking the needle tool. I'm going to draw a line on the surface of the clay. And then we're going to carve on one side of this line to create the illusion that one side, one surface is higher on one side of the line and lower on the other. What I'm going to do is create relief. I'm going to make it seem like this is above this. I'm going to make this seem lower than this. So create a sense of layering. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my carving tool and I'm going to lay it flat. And then I'm going to tilt one corner up. The corner that's touching the line, I'm going to follow the line as I carve. And I want you to notice what just happened here. Is I've got a plateau up here. I've got a cliff edge. I jump down. I fall down the cliff. I land at the base of the cliff. And then I go uphill. I'm running uphill until I cross this ridge line. And then I'm back on the plateau. So that ridge line right there is what we want to get out, get rid of next. So I'm going to take the flat part of the tool and just lightly scrape on it until the ridge line goes away, until I don't see it anymore. Now I want to be very careful not to take away more than one third of the wall's thickness. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go move on to finger polishing. So I just wet my finger. Just got a little water on it. And I'm polishing away the tool marks. And same thing with the cliff too. But I want to be careful. I don't want to really round out the cliff. I want to have a nice sharp edge that casts a shadow. 
Okay, so I'm going to follow that line all the way across. First cutting the cliff in. Be careful, don't go too deep. Do not cut deeper than one third into the wall. Now, however thick your wall is, you can dig a third of the way into it. Otherwise we're going to run into even thickness problems. Okay, so I made my first cut. Already you can see here where I've done all three steps. I made the first cut, I scraped out the ridge and I finger polished. It looks very smooth, but over here it's really easy to see. This is where I cut, there's my ridge line. There's my ridge line right there and I want to get rid of that. So watch me get rid of that right now. I'm just going to take the flat part of the tool and lightly scrape that ridge until it goes away. As it goes away, I lose the ridge, but I still see the carved texture. And then we're going to come back in and finger polish that until that goes away. So get rid of the ridge. Okay, so I'm done with the scraping. Now I'm going to finger polish all of this out. Oops, I've got a booger of clay here. <laughs> 